Hey there, Jay here from uh, My Body Lab and uh, Blue Storm Group Limited. Um, I just wanted to uh, quickly uh, record a video for the My Body Lab blog. Uh, basically, uh, I've just got, I just found someone on this new cool thing which is Soylent, uh, which is uh, kind of a low lactose, um, perfectly balanced. Uh, soya milk drink that a lot of the programmers in Silicon Valley have been getting stuck into. Um, I've been trying to find a place that sells Soylent in New Zealand, but I haven't been able to find anything uh, just yet, which is a little bit annoying. But what I've been able to do is I've found uh, there's a, a website called, uh, which is, does do-it-yourself, or diy.soylent.me slash recipes, uh, and I've found a Kiwi recipe is from New Zealand, uh, and it lists all of the uh, supplements that are, that are required uh, for uh, to be able to make your own soil and or your own version of it. Um, the cool thing about it is a lot of times when you're programming or working intensely, you have you have to have an uninterrupted uh, kind of an environment, and if you're focusing very intently, you can forget to feed yourself. Um, I know I was just noticing today, I think I went through about a five and a half hour block of work where it was just task after task. I was making good progress but then I really started feeling quite fuzzy. So um, that was why I started looking for some soil length so that I can have some of it available just in a, in, in a shaker for me. And as I'm working, I've got that by my desk, I've got water. So I'm just sitting there just um, able to consume without having to think much. So the recipe, uh, I'll include a link to uh, from the video, and also this video will appear on our blog, uh, which is mybodylab.com. Uh, the recipe is also is taken directly from uh, diy.soylent.me slash recipes, uh, and then I found the low lactose uh, New Zealand supermarket version. Uh, the first one is uh, whey protein isolate. Um, the coolest thing is the, um, the the other really cool thing about the way this works is it's actually a bit of a, a, a money saver. It's about uh, the way they tallied it up for um, New Zealand Countdown uh, and Pack and Save. It, it's about six dollars fifty eight a day for all of uh, complete uh, balanced nutrition. Uh, the second really cool thing uh, I saw a really interesting documentary where they took the same amount of calories but uh, basically turned it into a soup so rather than eat like a steak and, and food they, they blended it and then made, made it in a liquid form so if you consume the same amount of calories in liquid form it is, it's absorbed into the uh, stomach lining and into your body a lot easier and and this is the coolest part it uh, the same amount of calories uh, causes you to gain less fat or less less weight which is which obviously is, is a bit of a bonus especially for me I'm getting quite porky lately so um, we're just rattling through the ingredients I'll, I'll do a bit of a show and tell um, once we go through it but uh, at its most simple you've got actually I'll just see if I can do a I can do, yeah, I can't, can't do a screen share but uh, I'll just read out the ingredients and you, you can go check the link out after this so first of all, a whey protein isolate. Um, I'm a little bit lactose intolerant. I find that my dig um, lots of people say they're lactose intolerant, but they're not. Um, I find for me, my digestion, uh, I get uh, bloaty, bloated and um, gassy, I guess, uh, whenever I drink too much of the uh, like milks and, uh, and, and uh, quite a few of the protein powders, which I like, um, I'll feel kind of and also it drops my energy levels as well so uh, the I have been on a whey protein isolate and that has been re uh, in the past and that's been really good uh, and that was on the uh, Mark Joyner pound uh, lose a pound a day diet um, that's probably one of the best diets I've ever been on uh, for energy levels and also for um, overall weight loss um, but, and I didn't seem to have any negative impacts of the lactose, which this uh, seems to have. Um, because it's a balanced uh, balanced nutrition, um, it's it's pretty cool. And I love, the, I love the idea, just the same with the one square meals, 
where you don't have to think, you just grab it and it's balanced and you've got all the stuff that you need in it. Um, probably, I'll, I'll probably do a bit of a test for a week or two, um, or at least a couple of days, uh, just on Soylent and see how my weight fluctuates and also uh, how I feel. Uh, which is the, one of the most important parts. So just rattling through the ingredients, whey protein isolate, um, I, the protein powder that I've found the best is the one from, uh, is it Sins, uh, uh, it's the same guys that do Super Pump. Just give me one second and I'll look it up. Uh, Gaspari Nutrition. So yeah, Gaspari, I love their Super Pump. I've had really good results from their, uh, the Super Pump uh, supplement. Uh, I've found I've gained a lot of mus muscle, muscle mass, especially across my chest um, and thighs. Uh, and that keeps my metabolism higher and my uh, energy levels have just been probably one of the best for me. I have heard um, this video is about uh, soy lint, but just as a brief aside about uh, Super Pump, which I'll do another video for. Um, I have found that it's the steadiest energy that, that I've ever had, so I'm going to try and see if the super pump can go in with the soy lint, or whether that causes it to curdle, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll find that out. Um, I'll go through the ingredients, and then I'll talk about some of the potential supplements that I've uh, that we could do as well. So whey protein isolate, and I recommend uh, Gaspari Nutrition's uh, protein powder. Um, Centrum Men's Multivitamin. I've trialled this in the past and had concluded I didn't particularly like it. So um, it is one of the cheaper uh, supplements that works out twenty four dollars for about sixty. Um, it's it's one of the most popular general purpose multivitamins. I've gone for a male multi version uh, because male um, males have slightly higher zinc demands and so on. So uh, we'll, we'll take that up on board. We'll take that on board. Um, and so Centrum, uh, fresh life almond meal, rice flour, soy milk, rolled oats, cocoa powder, uh, brown sugar, iodized table salt, cream of tartar, a banana, some bananas, soybean oil and egg, uh, whole, raw and fresh and a, a large. So that's the, that's the summary of those ingredients. Um, I've made a few, uh, I'll just rattle through what we what we picked up as well. So we've got uh, this is a Ceres Ceres Organics Rice Cereal uh, Simply Nutritious. That's from I uh, bought that from uh, Countdown. What I'll do is I'll include a scan of my receipt as well. Um, bananas, uh, two dollars a kilo or something like that. Um, cream of tartar is that's one of the ingredients. I just got the handles. Um, as I was doing the shopping, I realised I wasn't getting the cheapest version. So my hourly, my daily uh, food spend may be slightly higher. So I may get up to sort of seven, eight dollars uh, per day. But that's still significantly cheaper than anything um, I've been doing. And I know for an early, uh, especially when you're in the first year or two of being a startup, anything that can save you a bit of money and give you a uh, high energy levels is exactly what you want. Um, next thing, home brand Quick Oats. Uh, these ones, that's 750 grams. I actually bought a whole bunch because I, I normally have that uh, in porridge for breakfast. That's a very, very good uh, slow release energy through the day. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff about oat bran uh, dropping your cholesterol and doing a lot of other really good stuff. Um, I'm going to try and experiment with chucking it into the blender as well. Uh, the ingredients that I've included are slightly, uh, I've, varied, I've varied them for a specific reason, but um, I'll talk about each. Uh, the next one is just a cheap organic uh, soy drink. Uh, this one was on sale, so I think it was $2.59. Uh, so that's uh, soy milk. I do know that there's many, there's a lot of studies basically bagging people who say that they're lactose intolerant, uh, which I respect. Uh, at the same time, there's still a percentage of the population who uh, are lactose intolerant and another percentage who perceive that they're lactose intolerant. I don't know, but I do know that for me, when I drink milk, it's not so good. Uh, next one, um, they had suggested brown sugar. Um, this is, I think, a, quite a bit more expensive. We actually live on the Chelsea Sugar Factory there. Um, we're kind of on like an estate uh, 
This is a brand new invention they've got which is low GI sugar. So rather than having brown sugar, um, I've gone for a lower GI so that I get a more steady uh, energy through the day. A um, couple of supplements that I'm going to include that weren't on the box. Um, oh sorry, before we do that, almond meal, that's from Fresh Light. Um, in the recipe listing it had rice, rice meal or rice flour from Fresh Life, which are these guys. They were a lot cheaper than the other brands uh, for like for like, so when I was looking for almond meal. Um, but instead I had to get the Ceres organic uh, rice rice cereal. Um, this one's quite good because A, it's organic, but also, which I don't know whether that works or not. Most of the scientists say that it makes no difference, but that's uh, an organic brown rice meal. So um, whenever you get the brown rice, you're getting the, the most of the goodness is on the outside of the, of the grain. This is, yeah, that's the basics of what is in the base recipe. Um, and then, then there's Centrum, uh, Centrum A to Zinc for men. Uh, so that's, that, I just got, got the men's version for obvious reasons. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, blend both the oats and the Centrum into, we've got like one of those magic bullets. And we may find that that uh, with, the, with the banana, it makes it just kind of like just a big, um, uh, drink and it's, it's all distributed in it or uh, I might just take the Centrum if that doesn't work or if it tastes bad I'll just take the Centrum as a tablet for my daily multivitamin uh, for most of the testing I've done up until now I've actually found the, the effervescent there's a, a multivitamin the effervescent tablets um, they're actually all out of the brand that I normally buy I think Halteries do an effervescent tablet it's about $9 for I think it's no, it's eight dollars for about ten or f about ten tabs, um, and I quite often will have that in my breakfast and my breakfast drink with my super bump. Uh, and that's I've found of all of the multivitamins that I've taken, that's generally I, it, it's for simple. I don't know whether it's true or not, whether it's all psychological, but it felt like it was absorbed into my body better. Um, and one could assume because it's liquid, maybe that works. Um, I don't know, uh, I've tested a lot of different daily multivitamins, um, like I said many years ago I tested Centrum and wasn't overly impressed, I didn't feel much better as a result of it, um, but there's so many multi multiple variables that can impact your energy levels day to day that it, it may have been something completely different. Um, I'm going to try and experiment uh, with a couple of extra um, supplements in with the Soylent to see if it works. Um, I love my chia seeds, um, I'll often put these in with my juice, so carrot juice, celery juice, beetroot juice, um, we're just getting a new blend, a uh, new juicer, uh, and they're just absolutely awesome. I'd have to say, if Soylent comes half as, uh, it does half as well as the, uh, the veggie juices uh, do for me, will be absolutely fantastic. It feels almost like a... Um, elixir of youth or something crazy. Uh, yeah, juices are just phenomenal. Um, make sure you, you watch the there's a doc, awesome documentary uh, which I'll put on the uh, in the comments in the blog um, and in the notes on YouTube that are just just absolutely awesome about how how much of an impact just taking daily veggie juices. Um, regarding veggie juice, I, I try and keep your uh, your high, glyc high glycemic uh, in, um, products out of it, so things like apples, pineapple, um, and so on. They're, they're kind of sweeter and more sugary, so that's going to give you an insulin spike. It's going to give you a spike of energy, and then your insulin's going to kick in and then drop you. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of just a bit of uh, advice. Um, chia seeds are quite good because that also will provide a little bit of um, roughage. I'm gonna, I may put in some, I don't know how to say it, psyllium husks. Um, I assume it's the silent P, uh, psyllium husks, however it's said. Um, that's quite good from a digestion perspective because it holds on to the food um, as it's digested and that allows for a slower release of the energy through the day. Um, keeps you regular and helps with your digestion which is all important. Um, the other uh, thing I thought would taste quite nice is some ground cinnamon in. 
Uh, cinnamon's great for mental and also to, uh, I think it increases metabolism, I think it's right for mental. Who knows? Uh, and it does, there's one other thing that the cinnamon does, increases metabolism, helps with fat loss, um, so those are all good things. And I may chuck in, depending on how the flavours work out, I may try some cayenne pepper. Uh, that's good for a bit of a kick from an energy perspective. And last but not least, uh, I don't normally drink coffee, but what I'm going to try and do is experiment with um, some coffee. Uh, it was funny, I was standing, I, I went to our local uh, our local uh, Esquires, uh, and Mark at the, the Birkenhead Mall knows me, uh, and I, he, I picked his brains on how to get exactly 40 to 80 milligrams of caffeine into a drink without it tasting like coffee. Um, and getting the best uh, the best types of coffees. Uh, th there are three main regions for coffees. And if it's from South America, it's uh, stronger and more bitter, but it gives you more of a kick. If it's from Africa, it's a slower um, caffeine kick and a little kind of a medium distribution. It's a, like a sweeter taste or a um, more floral. So, don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, and then he said that there's one other region. Uh, which is almost like a um, like an evening, uh, just sort of a, just a lower caffeine kick. Um, so I don't normally drink ca caffeine in the past. Uh, now coffee, I don't like the taste. And in the past, when I've had coffee, uh, it's generally tended, and same with energy drinks, it makes me feel energetic, but in a really jangly way. So um, I have difficulty focusing. I'm leaping around. doesn't feel, uh, I don't feel like I'm having uh, steady, reasoned, rational thoughts. I feel like I'm just kind of uh, zipping all over the show and not really achieving much. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna experiment with different amounts into my soy milk. I don't know whether that's going to mix. Oh, I imagine soy milk and coffee. Um, I was standing at the, it was quite sweet, I was standing at the, at the coffee aisle at Countdown and Becky Head and for, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, and then a lady just quietly came up and said, hey, that, this is the best one, and, and I said, oh, does it have a good pick? And she said, yeah, that definitely has, so I will try out the roasted addiction, looks nice and dark. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a plunger, I bought a plunger and filter, a plunger and filter, um, with, uh, so that I can have the two together, um, and then I'll put, say, maybe, I'll have to sit down and cut, uh, just to make the I have, say, a half cup. I may cold brew it, or add it with soy milk, with a small amount of soy milk. Um, and Mark from Esquire's Coffee House was helping me out with, uh, I can just put that into, say, like a milk bottle in the fridge, uh, and then keep it, and then pour in, say, half a cup, or, a, or a thumb, you know, like a, a shot glass or whatever, into my uh, liter or two liters of the soy milk for the day. So, I'm excited. Uh, we'll give it a try. Um, to the makers of Soylent, I really hope you uh, can get your product out to New Zealand. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have to uh, faff around with uh, making it ourselves, which we'd, we'd much rather buy it from you. And I love the, uh, the concept of what you guys have made, um, and I love the chance to kind of experiment a bit on it. Um, so thanks so much, and I will record another, um, another video once, uh, w w once we've had a bit of an experiment. Um, but yeah, just just wanted to cover off the ingredients uh, and uh, what I got and how much it cost. Uh, I'll include, uh, I'll scan in a copy of the receipt. Um, I don't think anyone wants to hear numbers uh, read on a video. Uh, I'll just scan it in and post it on the blog, which will be linked from the YouTube video and also on the blog as well. Um, any questions, feel free to give me, uh, just drop us an email. Uh, or uh, pro just ping me on Twitter, it's probably easiest, uh, jbestnz or uh, broadbandgeek uh, on Twitter. Um, always happy to chat, always happy to um, be friends on Facebook as well. Uh, so yeah, um, I think it's jbestnz on most places. Uh, thanks and have a great day and I'll um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check again later. Bye.